Okay, so this should be just like a little quick kind of aside. Um, for when you have a exponential graph, you could be given a graph and asked to find its equation. So we've got a graph here, and we could get asked to put it in the form y equals ax plus b. Okay, so the thing to do for this is to think about your graph and where it should be. So it's again going back to the fact that we know an exponential graph should go through 0, 1 and through 1a. Okay, that might not, the 1a part might not help us here, but the 0, 1 bit really should. So we know that the graph should go through 0, 1, but it does go fa through, in fact, it goes through 0, 4. So we know that it's been moved up 3. So therefore, that b has to be 3, because we've moved it up those three points, because it should be 0, 1. It's not. It's a 0, 4. So everything has been moved up 3. So from there, we can substitute in, because we know now, um, if we use the coordinate for 19, that gives us an x and a y value. And we know what b is, so we've only got one variable, so we can find out a. So then we're kind of going to substitute, so we've got y equals a to the x plus b. So we substitute in y is 19, um, and that's going to be equal to a to the power of 4 plus b, which is 3. So we take away 3 from both sides, and we're going to get 16 is equal to a to the 4. So a is the fourth root of 16, which is in fact 2. So therefore, we can say that that graph has the equation y is equal to 2x plus 3. Okay, and um, I'll do one other quick example of this. Right, so for this example, again, we want to put in y equals a to the x plus b, or kind of any kind of different thing that we've got. So it's just finding the equation of this graph. Right, so we know that initially we should have had 0, 1 and 1a. But what we've actually got is we've got minus 1, minus 3, and we've got 0, 5. Okay, so you can see what's happened to the x-coordinates is that they've been moved one place over. So you can see that we're going to have to have y is equal to a, and it's going to be x plus 1 to move it that way. And then plus, the graph has been moved, it should have been at 1, and it's now at minus 3. So it has in fact been moved 4 places. Um, and it's been moved down, so it's not plus 4, but it is in fact minus 4. Okay, so then we can put kind of our values in. So when x is 0, um, we know that y is 5. So we're going to have 5 is equal to a, and then x is 0, so we get 0 plus 1 minus 4. So we're going to get add 4 to both sides, so 9 is equal to a to the 1. So that's just a equals 9. So therefore, this graph would have the equation of y is equal to 9 to the power of x plus 1, take away 4. Okay, and um, we can do that for any kind of graph.